Another regular day in the Big East. 17 lead changes, eight ties in this game. You guys kind of separated yourself in the second half. What was the key to getting that separation? I, I think the rebounding. Obviously, uh, you know, St. John's is one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. Um, and then obviously the defense on Soriano and Jenkins, they're, they're two of the better players in our league, and, and to limit them the way we did, uh, and to keep our poise in, in what was an awesome environment. You mentioned Soriano. He's the team's leading scorer, averages over 16 points per game. You guys held him to a season-low six points. How much of your preparation went into stopping him? It was Jenkins and it was Soriano. And obviously we didn't do a great job in the first half on Jenkins, but we were much better in the second half. And uh, you know, Soriano is one of the best big guys in the country. Um, he's one of the best players in our league. Uh, we did a really good job of forcing them out out of the scoring area and making his catches tough. We kept him off the glass, and, and we kept him uh, you know, from rolling and dunking in the ball screen game. You guys won 10 in a row. You did it without Alex Caravan. Um, you said he's kind of the brains behind the operation. What adjustments had to be made when you knew he wasn't going to play today? Um, you know, I, we had to adjust a lot, and um, and it's really complex because of you know, the, the way that, that that coach is able to mix his defenses and and, and they're uh, you're switching from the matchup to his own to a man to the pressure. It was a lot. So uh, just really impressed with how the boys handled that today and uh, you know, just showed our, our championship DNA right now. Steph Castle had a career high against Providence, broke that career high today. What's impressed you the most was how he's playing? You know, how he's let the season breathe a little bit for him. You know, he... Uh, now, when, uh, when we were asking him to play a, a smaller role, he didn't pout. Um, he didn't have his agent uh, you know, reach out for me or his, or his parents complain. He's got great people in his corner. Uh, he's continued to lo uh, learn and grow and, and kind of do this organically. And now there's no freshman in the country that's playing anywhere near the level that this guy is, is, is playing for us right now. How about the environment at MSG today? Awesome. You know, I, I, it was... Uh, um, as good an atmosphere as, as we've played in this year, and we've played in some great ones. Um, obviously, it's going to be it's going to be tougher every season for our UConn people to get tickets to this game, <laughs> as as the St. John's program continues to do what they're going to do under coach. Um, but we were we were happy to have a nice representation of UConn people here tonight. But I get the feeling that that uh, our percentage of fans may shrink over the co coming years.